Hey, I'm Aaron. And I'm CJ. We're the Masters of Boredom, and today we're going to show you how to play Dominion. Hey, do you have a fetish for lawn care? Me too. That's why I play Dominion, the game about who has the biggest lawn. So hot. Dominion's a classic deck builder about who has the most profitable kingdom, with riches, resources, and real estate. But only the best deck can win. Let's set up the game. Take out all the copper, silver, and gold treasure cards. Then, if you're playing with two players, take out eight estates, duchies, and provinces. If you're playing with three or four players, take out twelve each of the victory cards instead of eight. Next, you need to choose ten kingdoms to play with. There are twenty-four included in the base set, and many more available in the expansions. You can go with one of the prefabricated lists on the back of the instructions, or you can choose randomly with the randomizer cards that are included. You can even go online and find lists that other people have recommended. But keep in mind it is the internet. You know. You know. Hey CJ! What's a lemon party? Take out the kingdom sets you've chosen and place them within easy reach of all players. If you happen to be playing with the witch or any expansion kingdom cards that produce curses, you'll have to put out curse cards. 10 for 2 players, 20 for 3 players, and 30 for 4 players. You can put out the trash pile card if you want, but we've never actually used it, so just be aware these are cards you've removed from the game. Deal each player a starting deck of 7 coppers and 3 estates, and you're ready to play. Shuffle your starting deck and draw five cards. The rules say to randomly select the first player, but we find that boring. We like fun alternatives. All right, I'm ready. Whoever I hit first is player one. Not the face. Hurt me, daddy. What? Ah! Turns are very simple, so let's complicate things. There are three phases. First is the action phase. Here's where you play any action cards you have and resolve their effects. Players start every turn able to do one action, but action cards may provide additional actions. They may also let you draw additional cards or give you more money or allow you to buy additional things. They may also have specific effects detailed on the card and in greater detail in the instructions. Wait a minute, Aaron. You're telling me this is another game where we can't burn the rules? Nobody. The rules can't go to Rules Island. How does that feel? Once you're out of action cards or available actions to use, proceed to the make it rain phase. CJ. The buy phase. During this phase, you'll play all the treasure cards you have in your hand. And then you may use the accumulated money from treasures and actions to buy a card. You can buy one card per turn, unless, of course, an action gave you an additional buy. You'll find the cost in the bottom left corner of each available card. The final phase is the cleanup phase. Any unused or purchased cards go into your discard pile, along with all the cards you played this turn. And then you'll draw a brand new hand of five cards. If you need to draw a card and your deck is empty, shuffle your discard pile, and that will become your new deck. Do this any time you run out of cards and need to draw. Once you have a full hand of five cards, play passes to the player on your left, and they begin their turn. Turns continue until one of two things happens. Either the supply pile of province cards becomes empty, or any three kingdom supply piles are emptied. Once either of these has happened, finish out the current turn, and then it's time to count for victory points. Pull all victory cards from your deck and count the final total. Whoever has the most points has the biggest lawn, and therefore needs the biggest lawn mower. If you're tied, the tied player who has taken the fewest turns wins the game. If you're still tied, share the victory. Or if you're like us, swords at dawn. Like us? There's no one like us. I know. Side note, you may find that you want to play with more than four players. This isn't an official rule by any means, it's more of a house rule, but we found it's possible to play with five or six players as long as you add some victory cards and some kingdoms from other sets like Intrigue. Additional rules may apply if you play with any expansions, but otherwise for the base set, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to our channel, and also click that little bell that gives you notifications whenever a new video comes out. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time. Dude, it's the end of the video. Yeah. What are we still doing here? I don't know. I'm just going to leave. All right. <laughs> Dude, there's a video there. What? There's a video there. Oh, my God. Don't leave me here like this. There's a subscribe button.